Hello, uh, we are going to talk today about uh, HECRES uh, 6.5 uh, that it's here since one week ago and it brings lots of new features. Uh, you can download it from this website, uh, as always. I always recommend to, to have the last version installed because it usually fixes a lot of bugs. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. So in, actually in the website, you can find all these uh, new features that are unresolved issues, but today we're just going to focus on the new features. So the first one is the 2D connection bridge skew. Uh, what what that uh, what does this mean is uh, that we can go to our geometry, and if we have a bridge, we could go to edit connection options, uh, skew bridge data, and here we could set, for example, 45. And what does this do is to uh, create this 45 angle between my upstream and downstream boundary condition. So if we close this. Do you see? At the edge of the bridge, it has created this inclination, which in this case is not optimal, but it's is uh, is common to to have this kind of files that are not uh, exactly um, uh, longitudinal to the flow. So an example of this will be if we had the river. Let's see how I can paint. If we have the river coming this way, and I paint this way the bridge, my files will probably be like this. And then it's very interesting to have the 45 kind. Okay, what else do we have? Um, we have improvements in uh, hydraulic structure with computations. We have improvements in simplified to the bridge. Uh, uh, improvements. <laughs> um, so in here, what I read that was interesting is that has removed the limitation uh, of cells around the bridge, so make it more flexible and more user friendly. Um, yeah, and also it is included the national, which I think is American Levy database, which maybe if we don't work there is not uh, so useful, but. What? Who knows, maybe uh, we can find something there for our projects. Uh, it also has the model comparison tool. This is really interesting. So if we go to the HECRAS window and we go to File, Compare Model Data, a completely new interface shows up. And here, what can we see? So in this project, I have run two plans. Uh, this one and this one. I'm going to load them. And what I can see here, for example, if I go to geometry, compute geometry differences, okay, it says there is no geometry difference in this case, but because it's the same one for running different return periods, but maybe I change the cell, maybe I put the bridge, maybe I, then I can compare them here. And also for what I think it's more interesting is to see the difference in the results. So it automatically computes the difference between these two, which in this case is mostly zero because it's run until a steady condition and all the area is flooded. But we can see there is in the edges uh, additional uh, flooded areas. So I recommend to, to check these options, which are, I believe, really useful for, for checking our results, but also to show the information in the, in the report. What else do we have? Encroachments, this has been also been improved. And something interesting is that we have the plot control at cursor and track velocity at cursor. What does this actually mean? I'm going to close this, go to RAS Mapper and in terrain, for example, I double click on it and I click the plot contour cursor. And then when I move, automatically the same contour line is activated. And the same for the velocity. A track velocity at cursor, it means that, okay, if I go to this point, it will plot both the longitudinal uh, velocity line and transversal which uh, might be interesting. Um, yeah, what else do we have? Uh, well, and then comes all the new uh, sediment capabilities. The first one is the ability or the tool for compute capacity only. Uh, that means that there is no real interaction between the bed and the load transport, but we, we, we shall introduce the gradation layer and it will compute the capacity of our flow to carry uh, this sediment load. 
Yes, an improvement in sediment transport and the rating curve, uh, global deposition threshold, equilibrium load boundary condition for unspecified grade classes. Yeah, so before I think uh, if you didn't set in the um if you didn't have grain classes, you will assume zero value. Now it has changed to equilibrium uh, load. So there are both options in case you are missing some data, which can be critical in, in erosion because we don't usually get all the data that we need, maybe. And yeah, I hope uh, you like the new version and if you want to follow my newsletter, it's mostly in Spanish at the moment, but uh, yeah, I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, just write it down and have a nice day. Bye-bye.